Hey guys, I have something pretty cool for you today. It is a bit different because I am showcasing a bug and how to fix it. Normally, you can't send a one tick signal through a um, through a comparator. As you see here, it's on subtract mode. So after one tick, it should go through and then it'll uh, it should turn on, right? And then one tick after that, it should turn off. So it should send a one tick pulse. But that doesn't work because that actually sends a two tick pulse. And then, um, well, you may think, well, it's just the repeaters. So I have dust here and then a comparator on one tick. That doesn't work either because technically it should also work. Uh, first, the dust goes through and then um, uh, after one tick, it should turn off. That doesn't work either. It doesn't even send a pulse. So this is a way to send a one tick pulse through. As you saw, the piston spit out the block and it didn't retract it. That time it retracted it. So um, yeah, it can also go through a line of repeaters. Uh, I mean, not repeaters, comparators. Uh, it can go through repeaters also. So as you see here, it sends a one tick pulse through that. But you may think, well, why can't you just generate a one tick pulse elsewhere? And that's what I have here. Um, this is a one tick monostable right here, probably the most common design. And as you see, it just stops after the dust. It doesn't even go through the comparators. Let me just get a better angle. Like this comparator is like, I don't even know it's going around me. I don't know what's happening. So it doesn't even go through. Um, if you think, well, it may be that it's just subtracting a tick. Well, it doesn't work on a two tick signal either. That sends a two tick pulse. So it's very odd, very odd indeed. And um, actually, somebody made a video on how to send a one tick pulse through a comparator, but that apparently was only in the snapshots. So it broke in the official release. Now, I'll explain how it works and why it works uh, later, but let's just build it right now. You're going to want to place your comparator and put it on subtract, and then you have your output going. I'm just going to show you that it works with a line of repeaters as well. Uh, kill two birds with one stone or something. I don't know. Uh, so you have a piston there or whatever. That's just to show it sends a one tick pulse. And then over here, you're going to need to place a repeater. And then here's my input. And I'm going to have a torch. Then you need to have a dust go out like that. And then um, you need to have a torch there and a dust. So it sends a one tick pulse through and it works. And same design as the other ones. So the reason why it works here, let me just get rid of all this crap that I don't need. The reason why it works is because, well, logically it sends a after one tick it goes through and after whoops after two ticks it stops it so uh, one tick difference sends a one tick pulse well you may be wondering why doesn't it work over here or here cuz like I have no ticks here and a one tick there so one tick after it should stop right and it should send a one tick pulse and over here same thing one tick and then two ticks why doesn't it work well the reason is is after 1.5 was released torches actually um they either uh, create half tick pulses or they get rid of them. I forget which one was it. Uh, but uh, because of that, it's actually a tiny bit more or a tiny bit less than two ticks. And that's the reason why it is um, doing that. So, uh, I mean, it it's very odd. I don't. I, that's the best way I can describe it. That's probably the only logical reason why it's working. And it has been proven that torches act very weirdly um, now. They, they don't exactly have a one tick delay. So thank you guys for watching. And I don't know if you can use this for anything. It, you may be able to. I just found it pretty cool that you can send you can actually send a one tick signal through a comparator without it you know uh, turning into a two tick signal. So thank you guys for watching. And until next video, bye.